Hi, I'm Joe Gerzak, resident artist and brand manager for Blick Utrecht. I'm so pleased that you could join me in my studio. We're going to have a series of small lessons on materials and techniques. We're going to go outside and do some plein air painting. So come along and be inspired. Hi, we're in the studio today and we're working with the Blick Master Stroke filbert brush number 10 size and i'm going to show you a variety of techniques that you can use with this brush so let's get started so the first technique i'm going to show you is a scrubbing technique we get a lot of medium on it just oil in the little can and then we're going to scrub it into the panel we're going to scrub it right into there so we're choked up on the brush by the by the farrow of the brush and we're scrubbing it in Okay, so that's one technique. That's a good way of, of toning the canvas or just getting a big area started. From there, we're gonna move back a little bit to the middle of the brush and we're gonna work on a technique. So when we go to brush, we have a little bit more force but fluidity to the brush stroke so it goes from dark to light and we have a little bit more control a little bit further back. If you're choked up on the brush, you could do a lot of short brush strokes like this as well. And then we have a technique where we're gonna just put a lo little bit more oil on it and we're gonna pull back on the brush way to the end of the brush. And then you're gonna do longer, more fluid brush strokes. So you get this beautiful quality here of a dark to light, but then it's a sputtered kind of uh, paint left on the surface. So that's really beautiful. You can also, in the same technique, you could actually go and do a very long, skinnier, narrower brush stroke like that as well. Another technique that you can do that's often not considered is using the tip of the brush. So you can do that by sketching into whatever ground that you put on already, whatever paint ground you put on. So you could sketch in, correct a drawing on, the, on your painting or scratch in even as a technique, but leaving some mark making there. You can also take a little bit of paint on the tip of that brush. You could leave, put like a, a dot of paint on for a super small highlight like that. Then you could take the handle of the brush and we're going to take a, a good amount of paint and we're gonna load it on the handle of the brush. And it's something that, again, people don't frequently consider, but can be used. I recently discovered this myself and had a lot of fun with it. So that's what I want you guys to do. Just reconsider the way that this tool is being used. So I have the loaded paint on the brush and I'm going to go like an upward stroke with it. And I can actually make a mast for a ship or the edge of a building. It kind of creates a really interesting straight line. I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to show you another way to make a straight line using the brush that we started with as a kind of straight edge. So we can put it onto the canvas, keep it parallel to the surface. And then what we could do is take the smaller brush and just kind of use that as a straight edge. So we get that technique going on as well. What we can do is go back to pulling up by the farrow of the brush but doing a different technique. We're gonna talk about impasto technique now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some color, not thin it out as much. What I like to call in my painting techniques when I'm teaching, stacking paint. A very impressionistic way of getting the paint on in a thick fashion. And then if you want to change color on top of that surface that you already put as far as thick paint, this is an excellent way to do it. You can again load the brush with a lot of paint and then stack right on top so you can actually change the color. Another technique that's really cool to use and again not frequently considered you can brush against the uh, brush hairs and you could brush upward so that gives you a really kind of like energetic brush stroke going up and a flare to it. There's also another great way to put a highlight on 
and that's by taking the ferrule of the brush and just taking that and rolling it in some lighter paint and I actually can put a kind of like a Rembrandt note an irregular kind of highlight which we always look for especially in still life painting you want something to really stand out and not be so predictable as a brush stroke that's a great way to do it load it on the ferrule of the brush reconsider the way that you use this brush just think more creatively out of the boundaries of the usual kind of steady continuous same brush stroke get a variety in there so that your painting has a, a variety of paint manipulation on the surface and i hope you really enjoyed this little lesson here today in my studio